method of braking on DC and quite frankly it's the slickest but the problem with it is and it's very inexpensive it's called asymmetric DCC and you can see a, <coughs> a little separate circuit board here and asymmetric DCC simply means that the signal to one rail is run through some diodes to drop the voltage on that uh, signal so it's unbalanced or asymmetric power going to the track. When that happens if you're using Zemo or uh, lens decoders they break on asymmetric DCC. The advantage of the lens and the Zemo system is that with either of the other two methods while this engine is stopped in the brake mode you cannot send a new command to turn off the headlights or turn off the flasher or blow a whistle or ring a bell because the only signal going to the decoder is brake. With asymmetric DCC it allows you to address those additional uh, functions even though the train is in the stop mode. So it has some advantages. The disadvantage is you must be using lens or Zemo decoders on your layout. They have currently have a patent on it and other folks are not uh, using that method uh, for braking at this point in time. Uh, uh, the lens decoders also have one other big advantage. I mentioned before for base system, I, uh, for outdoor layouts, I highly recommend NCE, command stations and hand throttles. However, if in your layout you have a push-pull operation, for example, on a trolley car, you may, uh, and you're operating DCC, you may want to uh, have an automatic push-pull where the train stops at each end of the line, stays there for a certain amount of time, and reverses. The one advantage of the asymmetric DCC is you simply put one of these little devices across the gap on each end of the push-pull operation, and you tell the decoder that when it senses this asymmetric signal, not only should it slow to a stop, but it should stay stopped for a certain period of time, which is you can set how many seconds you want it to stop, and then reverse and go to the other end of the track and do the same thing, slow to a stop and reverse. And it can be done with no other wiring at all, just some di a few diodes on each end of the track and a lens gold or silver uh, decoder that has the push-pull feature uh, in it. So that's one big advantage of lens decoders for an outdoor layout is that if you use them, you can still control trains, you can have automatic push-pull operation, and you can still control sound systems or what have you, even while they're in a braking mode. If you decide you have uh, more interest in any of the BitSwitch products, or would like a little additional information, you can feel free to either call me or uh, contact me at dccbitswitch at msn.com. One of the other services that I offer, if you go to my website, dccbitswitch.com, is if you send me a track plan, I will be happy to make suggestions, and I will even uh, draw a revised track plan showing how you can install bit switches uh, and automate all or part of your layout. I do charge for making full, uh, for redoing track plans, however. The good, the bad news is I charge for it and I ch have a charge of $35 an hour for my time doing this. The good news is the $35 per hour is 100% credit towards any bit switch products that you buy. I used to do this for free, but I had more people wanting free track plans than wanted bit switches. So now I charge for the plan, but I'll give you your money back if you buy a bit switch. Thank you for uh, watching this video.